The next category of triggers we'll take a look at are our remote devices, starting with our BPS button events. These triggers work in conjunction with our Ethernet-based remote button stations. Once you've added a button station to your system, you'll have some configuration options for it inside of the network view. Things like its minimum LED intensity, its held timeout, and repeat interval. You can also configure the default effect and intensity for each button. Switching back to our trigger pane, we can take a look at some options when these buttons are pushed. First, select which button station, or leave it to any. Underneath that, we can choose a particular button, or leave that as any, and then choose whether it's press, held, repeat, or release of a button that will trigger it. Once you select one of these, you'll be able to add actions to that particular button or group of buttons. The next two triggers we'll discuss trigger when a remote device is either added or subtracted from the system. Remote device online will trigger whenever a device is present. You can either specify a specific type of device and a specific number, or you can leave this blank. If device is left blank and left at any, you have the option to trigger when any device is added to the system. The same goes for our offline options. Either choose a specific device and number, or leave it at any and be able to trigger accordingly.